What's up, everybody? I'm Sean Hammond at Music Mesa 2011 at the Black Star Amps booth with Jamie. Jamie, how's it going? Very well, thank you. Having a great show. How are yeah. you? Great, yeah. Good. Good I'm glad it's almost over. <laughs> it's noisy today. <laughs> it is. Um, so you guys have a new take on the HT5, right? It's What's the, the exact model name again? This is the brand new HT5R. So R for reverb. Uh, there's quite a few uh, modifications and differences between this and the original model that came out. Uh, first and foremost, it has R in the name, which means it has reverb. So we have digital reverb. If I just give you a little... So great studio quality reverb. The cool thing about the reverb as well, because it's stereo, where we have the emulated outs on the back of the amplifier now, you can have like a stereo cord and split that and have that going into two channels on your desk. So you've got a stereo out now on the, on the amplifier. Um, the other difference is that this also has 12-inch speakers now. These are part open back cabinets and the combo has 12-inch speakers. And also the uh, clean channel. Uh, a lot of people commented about having a bit more flexibility with the clean channel. So the clean channel has got its own independent tone control as well, which is beautifully voiced. So you can go from very, very warm Kind of jazzy tones, and then we can push the tone up, get it nice and squawky, and so a really flexible channel and a great addition to the amplifier. Um, moving on to the crunch channel, it has all of the features that you'd expect to see on a Black Star amp, obviously the painted um, ISF control, which uh, turn it all the way clockwise will give you uh, more of a, uh, a British sound. The other way is uh, the American sound. The basic idea behind it is that it just alters the way that the tone controls work. When you buy an amplifier, those tone controls are just a snapshot of what other capabilities the amp has. And basically with the addition of the ISF control, which is completely exclusive to a Black Star amp, you can really tailor the EQ and really, you know, get the sound that's in your head, as we say. Um, also, the amplifier uh, is a lot hotter in terms of gain. If I just give you a little blast. As you can hear, the gain is uh, pretty low. If I just bring the uh, ISF round, we can get quite an old school British. push it up the ISF into the middle a little more and now start pushing the gain up. I'm about halfway with the gain. So you can hear there's a lot of gain. Um, if I bring the uh, ISF control down into more of the American territory, uh, push the bass, scoop a bit of mid, a little bit more gain out of it. So you can hear you can get a wide variety of tones, classic rock tones. Uh, I haven't done any blues tones yet. Let me uh, give you some bluesy stuff, maybe some old vintage. Eric Clapton style stuff, back the tone down on the guitar. It's a pretty diverse little dude. Yeah, you know, for a 5 watt uh, all valve amplifier, it's got so many different tones that you can get. You know, clean funk, country, metal, rock, classic rock, blues, everything in between. And uh, there's also available um, in a combo as well, also with a 12-inch speaker. Like I said, this 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 stack here, 12-inch um, cones with part open backs as well, so you get really great tones, great for recording. Cool. Now, you were talking earlier about one of the other notable features is the line out, how that works. You want to talk about that? Yeah, so with the line out, uh, right at the moment, I don't know how well this is going to uh, 
transfer in this environment, but for doing the demos here, we've just got the line out running into the PA system, so I can actually uh, get a little bit of the... So you start to get the, the bleed of the, uh, of, the, of the sound of the amplifier through the PA, and all I'm doing is just running a cable out, a stereo jack, splitting it into two mono jacks, going straight into the little mixer. So if you're on a gig, and you only want to take a small amp or if you're doing any recording you can just plug it straight into your board and you could also if you run it on standby you don't have to have the sound coming out the speakers so you can crank your amp up and record late at night and not uh, not kill the neighbors or wake the rest of the house up yeah so that's pretty unique when it's in standby mode and you've got the line out plugged in yeah. it works that yeah, way yeah, it still works that way so you you know and you can you can wear headphones or just run it however whatever comfortable volume you want out of your monitor system at home so it's a great great amp Awesome, thanks for showing us. Where can people go to find out more about it online? If you go to www.blackstaramps.com and you can check it out there. Thanks, Jamie. I'm Sean Hammond. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.